Today we're going to be doing lesson 11-2. So if you could open up to page 644, you're going to count back to subtract on an open number line. So I'd like you to repeat after me. I can use an open number line to count back to subtract three digit numbers. So now today, you're going to use an open number line to subtract. You start at 425 and you take away 115. So we start at 425, we hop back 100 first, and then you hop back 10, which is the next place value, and then you hop back 5, which is the next place value. And that's how they got 310. So now we're going to try it. So the problem is 693 minus 218. So I'm going to stop, start all the way on the right, 693, okay. Then we're going to hop back two hundreds. So 100, 200. When we hop back two hundreds, 100, and then another 100. So this would be 593. And then this would be 493. Then we're going to hop back 110. That means we're just going to take 1 away from the tens place here. So that would make it 483. Then what we do is we hop back 8 ones. So we can just hop back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I want to hop back, I would have to take away 483 minus 8. So we can do it many different ways. You can do 83 minus 8. You can always stack and subtract as well. Or just count backwards. 483. 482, 481, 480, 479, 478, 477, 476, 475. And I would always check my answer by stacking them. So 3 minus 8. Can we do 3 minus 8? No, we cannot. So what do we need to do? We need to go next door, get 10 more. 3 asks the 9. Can I borrow a 10? 9 says sure, and turns into an 8. And then we know 3 turns into 13. So remember, we can either cross it out and write 13, or you can just add the 10s here. 13 minus 8 equals 5. 8 minus 1 equals 7. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Do our answers match? 475, 475? It sure does. So the answer must be 400. 75. So please make sure you two, you go back and do the quick checks for today. You watch the videos for today and you also do five problems in your book. Bye!